Good afternoon, Soul Family. I'm sitting at my desk. Let's go outside and take a look. Look at my clean house. I spent the entire day scrubbing and cleaning it. My landlord did a good job, but you know, it's never like we do it. And I had a huge bunch of disasters I had to take care of, of course. We've got the wind blowing out here. Hi, my little chicken. Hi. Hi. Hi, are you liking your blanket? Are you? Yeah, she ruins every single blanket I have. Yeah. Cat hair all over everything. Yeah. It's windy. I need it to clear away, clear away. So remember last night when I said I had that smell in my house and I couldn't find it and I said it was probably me? Wrong. It was in coming from here. I After I cleaned my entire house, I went around and I there was a little bit of cat litter, so I used my little duster here, this little duster vacuum, to clean it up and uh, all of a sudden the smell was really strong. And I, I tell you, I've got super nose and I'm just like, what, what, what is it? I lift this little vacuum and I don't know what, I don't know if my landlord didn't realize and went over by the cat box and vacuumed it up, whatever, it was filled with pee, cat pee. So it's all hardwood floor, you know, laminate, hard laminate. So I was able to clean it, but I'm telling you, it's in my nose. So I washed this and uh, disinfected everything. And uh, it's interesting. Uh, I mean, I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and then I went and I spread all over the place. So something that you don't know, you can, uh, can spread it around. If you don't realize it's there, could be energy, right? You don't even realize the toxic energy that's attached to you. Um, another thing is I, I thought I was really smart, you know, before I left, I put all of my dirty clothes, I rolled them up really tight and I put them in a bag inside my suitcase so that when I came home, cause I knew I'd be exhausted, I could just put them in the wash and do them right away. So my landlord throws on the wash for me this morning. He's so nice in the morning and I go down to make sure, cause he threw them all in the dryer and I thought, no, 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 don't cause half my stuff, you know, has to be hung to dry. Of course, every single thing that was in there was my favorite stuff, all the stuff I brought with me that I clothes that I wore when I was in Sturgeon Bay were my favorites. I love them. Guess what? There was a lipstick in my brand new down puffer coat pocket and lipstick stains all over every single of one of my favorite items. Every single one, every one up and down all over it. So sometimes there's only one word that you can use when you're feeling like I was feeling right at that moment. It's either sit down and cry or fuck. And yes, that's what I said. And no, I wish I could have done it instead of said it. So, for the next two and a half hours, I stood there scrubbing with a stain remover to try and remove the lipstick stain that was on, ev I mean, it was everything. Probably six of the things are destroyed. I mean, I got the stains out, but the material, you know, you scrub it, it's ruined. But it was interesting because there was a song that was playing right before I went down there. And it was Soul Sister. Lipstick stain, your lipstick stain on my left side brain. I can't get it out. Can't get, can't get you out of my mind. That's how, how strong something takes a hold of you. It took me hours to try and get that out. So, so in the positive as well as the negative, you can, you know, I'm trying to think of, there's reasons why all this happened, you know? Also, I needed to, I, I woke up and I was really, really sad about leaving my family behind. You know, it's really, really hard for me this morning. It's very beautiful here, but I have no family here. I have no friends here, really, except for my landlord. And uh, it was really, really tough. So I was having a hard time. I was crying and I was trying not to, you know, allow it to just totally get to me and pull me down because I, I need to clear my energy. Thank God the wind is here, right? Clearing it away. And I think that the disaster was so that I got all of that energy out that I was so angry and I was scrubbing and scrubbing. I was so angry. I kept saying, is there anything else? Like anything else that, are we done now? Like, are we done? I'm, I'm ready for something good. Okay. It, it's enough already. I mean, if you know, the, the top, but I thought to myself, it's, it's what it is. When you have toxic energy that's attached to you and, and, and the whole time I was there, I had that toxic energy, not for my family and the loved ones, but I had that toxic energy that was just brutal. And once, when you're still vibrating from that negative energy, more happens. And here, even though I thought I was doing the right thing, you know, I was organizing, everything was organized, and, but something that I overlooked because I was tired. And a lot of times that happens. You're, you're overtired, you overlook things. Or you're, you're beaten down and, and, and you, you can't pick up on everything. And sometimes you just fuck up, right? I didn't check that pocket. I thought I did, but I was so tired. 
and it caused me hours and hours of work and ruined things. So we have to be really careful. Got to be careful. A lot of times, and a lot of times it's just the negative energy that's attached to us. So it's so important to clean. Also, I felt like when I was so busy, you know, working and scrubbing and, and I didn't have time to be, sit there and be sad. And I was, I was, I was taking care of myself. I, I spirit kept saying, you know, you got to start taking care of you. You got to do more for yourself. And so I sat there and I said, maybe I just needed to just, you know, I didn't want to focus on the fact that I was sad about my family. I didn't want to focus on anything negative. I just wanted positive memories, you know, but there was a lot that went sideways that trip, man, from the beginning to the end, disasters, disasters. And, and this wind is so welcome for me. I, 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 want, I, I visualize this wind just clearing it out. You know, take it away. My vacuum's cleaned out. I'm letting it air out here after I completely dis, you know, sanitized it. My cats are happy. They're so happy to be home. I slept really good. You know, I'm thinking of, it's pretty out here. It's beautiful. You know, there's people that are in awful places and look where I get to live. And after hours and hours of scrubbing this house and cleaning, I did clean it, but after I found that urine spot on the floor, that little pool, see it's on this kind of floor, so it's not a big deal, but I thought that's it. I mean, I was on my hands and knees. I mean, if anybody knows me, I'm the cleanest person on the planet and I have super nose and I knew there was something in here and I couldn't find it and it was driving me insane. Cat box was fine. He's like, I don't know, I was really careful. And I'm like, no, you know, he was so clean. He, he helped me, he did such a good job, I'm so blessed. But I came over and it was right here, in, in underneath the vacuum. I, I don't even get that. Like I don't, I, can, I don't get that. I don't know if he moved the vacuum and was doing something and, and Liger came, came, ran back here and was scared and peed. I don't know, but it was under it. It was weird on how it got there. But anyway, now it's all clean. Vacuum's clean, everything's clean. My fish tanks are topped up. My fish won't eat. This fish won't eat right now. So I haven't eaten yet. So maybe it has something to do with me. But I'm gonna sit down now. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. This was a Christmas present my daughter got me. She made it. I don't know if you can see without the lights shining on it. His name is Merlin. And uh, he's a praying mantis. And he knows about when... He knows the art of stillness and patience and when to strike. And look at him following that lantern. He's, he's following the light. And what's interesting is... I'm going to get my reflection out of here. How can I show you this? There's a ladybug, which is wishes fulfilled, right down here. Butterflies, which are full transformation. And the geometric shapes all around sheep. My daughter doesn't know, but to me, it's, it's Archangel Michael everywhere. Right? And the praying mantis. God. And, and, and his name is Merlin. She named him Merlin before she realized who he was. Isn't he beautiful? I've got to find somewhere to put him. I don't have... I don't have anywhere to put anything. This place is so small. <laughs> oh, and my landlord. This is the old rocking chair that I, that I found. It was outside. The neighbor was going to throw it away. And I thought, oh, I need a rocker for the, for the porch. It's because the, the, um, the base was loose and he had to put a new screw in it. But he, was, he, was, he says, I got nothing to do and I wasn't here to talk to. So he, he um, sanded it and he stained my rocker and put it back together. It's, I mean... I love it. It's, it's, I love it. I friggin' love it. I mean, how, how, so I'm, I'm walking around looking at all the amazing things. We got to redo our dream boards, guys. I'm pulling everything off that dream board. We got to redo our dream boards. Also, I got too much stuff on my desk. I've got, I've decided as I was walking around cleaning that there's just too much, you know, get rid of stuff. And, and before I left, I went into my closet. I think I might've told you guys. And I, uh, I went into my closet and I took out everything that I did not wear that I haven't, anything that I didn't wear in the last year, I gave away. Things that were not in super good shape, I, I threw away. And when I went into my closet to put my clothes away last night, I forgot. And I looked and I'm like, wow, there's like hardly anything in here. And everything basically that I really liked, I took with me. So, and then it got ruined this morning. God. But, but I had done this major spring, you know, cleaning before I left as far as uh, getting rid of things that were no longer necessary. But then this morning, what happened, that forced me to do major... I mean, I was cleaning anyway. I like things clean. But clearly, it was time to go from top to bottom and clear my energy. So there it is. There's my answer. What happened was because I had to get down to the nitty-gritty. Nitty-gritty. And I had to scrub. 
to get rid of the toxic energy that I had absorbed and to get rid of anything that was no longer in my highest good. What, what am I doing right now? I'm getting my sage. I've got to go out and make some sage wands. I'm completely out. So we're going to use loose sage. So that's what I did. My house is so clean you could eat off the floor. I don't think there, there possibly could be a corner that has anything in it. And that is, that's what you do to get rid of negative energy. It's, it's energy. So I had way too much attached to me, clearly, for spirit to decide that they needed to do that to me this morning. And I mean, I've been doing that since 11 o'clock this morning. And like I said, you know, when I started to talk to you guys, it was like 3.15. So, but, some, but, but that's, that's also showing you the importance of, of how it's not that simple. You know, you don't just burn some sage and it's gone. Sometimes you got to do some real work. You know, maybe you're in an environment that's not good. You know, you're around toxicity. It's not okay just to kind of go in your room and shut the door. You got to remove yourself from it and you got to get rid of it. Anything attaching to you, you got to get rid of it or it's not going to do you any good. That, the house was clean from the outside. You looked at everything. It looked very clean, but there was a spot that had cat urine that I didn't see that was there and it permeated everything. So it's the same thing as energy. If you've got negative energy from anything, that's why it's so important if, to get rid of things that, that were given to you by people that were in your life that were a toxic reminder, you know, um, old relationships. You don't want that stuff around you. It carries energy. And, uh, it, it, and, and, and in order to be healthy, it requires work. You know, it's not simple. It doesn't just happen. It, it, it's a lot of hard work to get clean. And then that's another message to me. People that are, are, are working to get rid of addiction issues, right? It's a lot of hard work to get clean and it's frustrating and you keep feeling like you're slipping and you know, you're trying so hard and, and then something happens and, but we, it, it's worth the effort in the end, right? It's worth the effort in the end. So I understand the message I'm being told. It's been a lot of hard work for somebody to get themselves clean. I get it. And now we're burning our sage. My throat's sore from all of the um, cleaners that I had to use today, which I, I know that's not good, but I mean, when you've got cat pee, I'm sorry, there's no way it's staying in my house. So let's smoke this place out. After I've cleaned everything, let's just make sure that there's no um, anger residues or annoying residues, you know, because I am, I was pissed. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I, is there anything else that you can do to me? I didn't say that. I actually didn't say that, you know, because I know that when you say that, that's kind of like asking for it. So I just said, I'm done. I'm done now. I, I hope we're done. <laughs> and, I'm, and then at the end, I said to my landlord, I'm too tired to be upset about my family now. I'm just too tired. I, I'm, I'm exhausted from all of this and I don't have any energy left to be sad. So maybe that was a kind of a weird way for them to help me get over it. So now we're going to do a reading. We're going to do a reading from the fairy tale oracle. I saw the fairy tale oracle in my head. And I said to you guys, man, look at this. Remember what I told you? That if you need a, a, a lot of clearing, it will, it will smoke heavily. And if spirit realizes that, you know, you just need a little, it'll, it'll burn itself out. Look how that is smoking. That's a lot. So I'm burning off a lot of negative energy right now. They're staging me. I'm clearing that. I knew it. I mean, man, that's powerful. Man, I got to get out there and pick some wild sage and wrap up some sage wands. I don't have one, not one. All right. First message. The unicorn and the maiden. Look at these two. How much have we been getting the emphasis on the number 10, the gateway? So loud from spirit. 10 is the gateway. And we got this one upright because this is a reverse deck. So there they are. Look at these two. They're a team. Look at the passion between them. She's looking over her shoulder, making sure that she's got his back covered. He seems to be upset. What's wrong? Hmm. 
So they're having a discussion. They're, they're communicating. This is a magical sacred unicorn. They're discussing about, look at their undercover actions. So they're, they're asking each other, what are we gonna, what are we gonna do now? Where are we going next? The unicorn is, is telling her in secret. He's whispering in her ear. And he knows that what she tells him, what he tells her will be safe. And she knows she's safe with him. The unicorns were hunted because they were magical. This unicorn has holds ma major healing and sacred knowledge. And so she needs to keep a she she keeps an eye out. She's keeping a look over her shoulder to make sure that he's safe. They work they work together. They're a team. And they meet in the hallway in the in-between places, out of sight, in our dreams, in our visions and meditations. Her job is to take the information she gets from him and bring it back and translate it into the physical. There's purifying and detoxifying that can take place. I love that I'm getting this message considering what's going on. And look at smoke's completely out. They want peace. They work for peace, these two. And they see into the hearts of ones around them. Unicorns have the ability to create peace. Man, great. Thank you. That's what I want. I showed you guys my new water bottle, right? Peace. Joy, love. I'm all about the peace sign, right? So that's what the unicorns bring forward. The unicorns also help with the written word. And they communicate. The things that need to be said. The unicorn actually is a, um, you know how you can call on your dragon, you can call on your animal, power animals, you can call on your angels, your fairies. Well, you can call upon your unicorn. Unicorns help film projects, novels, television, anything visual arts. So when the unicorn comes and this message comes, right now, there's a creative project in the process or you're about to embark on on some kind of creative action. So you're going to ask for the help of the unicorn. He'll help inspire you and see through any blockages. He'll touch his magical horn to any blockages. Notice that the horn comes out of his third eye, right? So this is his psychic antennae. And it's right where our third eye is. And that's where our intuition is, our psychic abilities, the clairvoyant. You know, the communication between worlds, that's why it's symbolized here. So, another message. Oh, hello, you little precious. Thank you for showing up. Did you see? Did you see my baby? And she came and sat down for a second, took a breath. Hummingbird. Um, so, because this is about communication, this card also shows up when you're receiving messages from different realms. We talked about this yesterday. And the messages that you're receiving are actually getting, they're getting, they're getting to the point. They're getting straight to the point for you. So if we use our intellect, our energetic power that, that comes from the same place as a unicorn from our third eye to seek out peaceful solutions and keep sacred things precious and safe from harsh and toxic environments. <laughs> We'll help ourselves. So, as the unicorn and the maiden come right now to us, they're saying that we are reconnecting with the magic within ourselves, with our own pure, good qualities. This You can see the gentleness between these two, but the unicorn can also be very fierce. So, our qualities, our wild qualities, our, we have loving, gentle qualities, free qualities, but we also have wild, fierce qualities. 
So the unicorn, being the ancient symbol of magic, says that there is magic rising around you right now. And there's a lot of purification going on, which is so perfect that this card came up. But not just for yourself, but around in the world. I, I'm telling you guys, when the energy of the world is affected, you can see in the elements what's going on. There's a cleansing going on right now. See, the wind is blowing. When the wind blows like this, that's purification. It's blowing away the negative energy. There's, this is happening. It doesn't just happen for us personally. It's happening throughout this whole planet right now. Pay attention to what's going on outside and you'll see what's going on in the world. So, right now for you, you're receiving communication about detoxifying, about clearing your environment, <laughs> about bringing peace in. I mean, that's why all the things were happening to me this morning, right? I had to get down and scrub. I had to spend hours working at it because you don't get something for nothing. You got to do your work. Somebody asked me this morning, my girlfriend, um, Sandy, said to me, what do you call people like us? Here, let me, let me see exactly what she said. What do you call people like us who believe in spirit, the universe, pro pre premonitions, dreams, using our intuition and gifts? Is there a scientific name for people like us? The ones who are awakening to their gifts? Most of us think we're crazy or nuts. And I said, we're awakened. She goes, thanks. Not everyone can understand what that means. And I said, well, the ones working to help others understand we're called light workers. Light workers. We got to work hard. Now, notice everything was blurry for a second and I had to pay attention to get things to come into focus. Did you notice that? So if you're not willing to do your work, you're not going to have the purification done. So that's why Spirit's saying right now, you are receiving communication. I got it loud. I mean, I had to, I, I, I came in here and my place is always clean, but it wasn't clean enough. It needed to be scrubbed. It needed to, I needed to spend hours because it's showing me what this means. There's a cleansing and a clearing of the environment that is very, very necessary. And it's not going to be just a cursory wipe down. It's hard. If you're someone who's had addiction issues, it's hard fucking work to overcome addiction, but you can do it. I got the lipstick out of my clothes. I did. It's hard work. But right now, there are doors between worlds that are opening, and they're getting wider and wider for you right now. The sun is shining, the divine masculine. This is a gateway that's opening. Spirit has got this available to us right now. We've had the emphasis on this. We, we had this yesterday in the reading that I did, the last reading in Door County. So Spirit's telling you that there's more and more that's coming through for you. The, the communication with Spirit. You have a purpose on this planet in order to help the environment. As I said to Sandy, the ones working to help others, we're called light workers. Light workers. These two are working together. We gotta do our work. Look at the eggs that my, my best friend gave me. Funny that they're right up front. The color of the sacral chakra and the color of purple, the highest spiritual color, as well as Archangel Jeremiah, relationship harmony. And there's orange in this as well and the white for purity. And look at the, the sacral chakra, the seed of creativity and sexual energy because there is also love and passion between them. Look at the red dress she's wearing and her red hair. She's his kitsune, his best friend. There's rose petals falling from him. There's love between these ones. They work together. They love this planet. They love each other. They love. They send love out into the world. You are a peaceful being like this beautiful unicorn. You're very, very sensitive, but you're very strong. You're very, very powerful. Spirit's saying, keep some of the work you do to yourself. Some of your works need to be secret. Don't try to draw attention to yourself right now. The children that are coming up now, the millennials and the crystal children, the indigos, we're here to help them. And they're being aided in life by this unicorn, that magical energy. So right now, there is also a message that it's time to protect and help something that's precious and threatened to survive. I've got chills all over my body. I know what it means for me. Right now, when you go to drink your water, bless your water. And bless your food. Say to the Father, thank you for this. And please put a blessing upon what goes into my body. Water is emotion. 
Food is sustenance and nourishment. Think of it in a spiritual as well as a physical sense. The song Perfect is playing right now. I'm going to give you one more card. And then I'm going to actually see if I've got a, cl I've got a client that wants a reading. Oh, P.S. The eggs are creativity and a new beginning. That's what they mean. And uh, she gave me that amethyst, and, and there's my amazonite. I'm going to get myself a whole bowl of amazonite. Not amazonite, I'm sorry. Yes, it is amazonite. Oh, I want to show you. I, I ordered for my twin, Labradorite. Labradorite. I ordered it for him for Christmas. I don't know when I'll ever see him again, but it arrived. And I wanted it to be a natural kind of thing that a guy could wear. You know, he can make it shorter or longer, whatever. But it's macrame. And it's wrapped. Isn't it beautiful? He needs this stone. So I, I hang it here for him. You can do that as well. You know, you, when you get, if you have something and somebody isn't in your physical presence, my intention is that he gets that energy. You can do that with the ones that you love. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Feels really good for me to be here amongst all my crystals again. You know, I, I brought a lot with me, but it's nice to have them all home with me. Okay. Wow. Turquoise. Turquoise and amethyst is beautiful together. <laughs> God, I have so many people asking me questions right now. Like everybody knows I'm home and they figure, okay, she's ready to work. Sporty red Mustang with two stripes on top, front, two back, and had license plate 58442B or 5844B2. Let me know what that means to you. Mustang is forward movement. Red would be passion, creativity, Mustang. We have to look. Maybe that's a message for us right now since we're doing this. So let's ask about the Mustang totem. <clears throat> the Mustang is my totem, actually. Um, for, if you want to talk about the, um, the horses, that's mine, the wild Mustang. Isn't that funny? Yeah, she brought that up, so it's me. Um, the wild Mustang is power, stamina, endurance, faithfulness. Let's look at her right here. There she is, wild Mustang. Uh, freedom to run free, control of the environment, awareness of your power achieved, but in, in a cooperative way, you know. Um, it's interspecies communication because it's speaking with your animals between your animals and you. Um, it's always forward, so movement, so it's travel. And, you know, I've got a lot. I, on the plane home, I was say, they were showing me travel is coming into my future. And I thought, geez, I'm traveling. But there's also astral travel. It talks about expanding your own potential, the abilities that you have. Um, friendship, cooperation. It warns of possible danger. So if it's a red Mustang, you know, red would be stop. Right? It could be get away. It could be a fire. I got a message that said, fly away home, little bird. Um, your house is on fire. That was the, the thing I, had, I got right as I left Sturgeon Bay. I had to come home. My house is on fire. So it's a guide to overcoming obstacles. Um, we've got Pegasus, who is the egg-legged horse of the Norse god Odin. We've got the stallions of the Hindu sun god, the stallions of Apollo. Um, so a lot of history around the legends of the horses. Many legends speak of the horses being clairvoyant and able to perceive humans with magical powers like the unicorn that we just spoke about. Um, so there's not one animal that's been given, um, that gives man the freedom of movement such as the horse. I mean, there, it carries, it's carried man forward for thousands of years. So if you're drawn to the horse, you you might be feeling that a power in your spirit is sometimes difficult to control, especially a wild Mustang. Think about that. Wild Mustangs are they're very, very powerful, and the wild ones, they don't want to be tamed, right? That's why it's the symbol of freedom. Um, it's a symbol of loyalty and devotion, of unquestioning, unquestioning love between and faith in your master. I find that interesting. My twin said to me once, because I called him Master Jake, and he said, am I your master? And I said, No. But he is my master teacher. He has been at times. But there, it's the, uh, un, the, the message is that the un... I'm thinking about the, the, about the unicorn and, and the maiden. They have absolute faith and trust in one another, right? They're a team. And so 
unquestioning loyal love and faith in your master. It says that you love to travel. You've got the kind of a gypsy soul. They call me a mermaid with a gypsy soul. That's literally what my, my uh, if you read my Facebook thing, that's how I describe myself. A, mer a mermaid with cat tendencies with a gypsy soul. <laughs> um, what else? You love to travel. Yeah, that's, you're, you're a bit of a gypsy, so. The horse is your warrior spirit, a brave warrior. It brings you safe safety on your journeys. When you travel physically, like as I have just done, or in your astral travels, in your work, your metaphysical work, right? Um, horse medicine is, is uh, power, stamina, endurance, faithfulness, freedom to run free, and all the things that I said earlier. Um, what else? Uh, if there's anything specifically about a Mustang, anything more? I would just say the, the, the Mustang to me would be more the one of the freedom and, and the wildness, wanting to, and that's, that's me. I mean, I don't, you'll never tame me, you know, and I probably would never want to be with anyone that's tamed. <laughs> I like the freedom. I like the, the wild, natural. I like the gypsy spirit. I like traveling. I like the movement, you know. It's, spiritual is the right person for doing their work. Oops, sorry, babe. I'm gonna knock you off your feet. One more. Anyway, so this is going to be reverse. That's too bad that it's the Greenman's Bride that's in reverse. Okay, because the Greenman's Bride, that's the sacred union. That's the commitment ceremony. That is the twin souls coming together. So it comes in reverse at this time. And what it's telling you is you're not acknowledging how necessary it is to honor the relationships of the masculine and feminine, the balance between the two. Denying that, that there is a need for a ceremony. Maybe you are finding meaningless commitments. Maybe you lack trust and belief in the potential of relationships. You're unwilling to be involved in a true union, partnership. Lacking devotion. Maybe you believe that love is actually lust. You don't know what real love is. That short-lived, you know, and you think that, that romantic love is a fairy tale. You, you have no trust in it. You don't believe in it. But it isn't unrealistic. Not at all. It's, it's how we were made. This world has gotten far, too far off, off kilter. And they believe the bullshit of the hype of, of, of the way people live. It's sickening to me, really. That's what's not realistic. It's in our true nature. If we can engage with another on the deepest level, like between that unicorn and, and her partner, and we deeply love another in a, in a committed, strong, free way, we are blessed. When you have this message showing up, this is about short-lived transient relationships. Could also be about guilt around having a sexual union, a fear of losing yourself if you commit to another. How sad. That's really, really sad. There's nothing but love. Love is re what's real. That's it for this deck. I think um, I'm going to leave it at that. That's what I said I was going to do. I'm going to leave it at that. Sorry to leave on a negative note. Why don't I give you a... I'll ask Spirit to give us a, um, a message from the Angel Healing Cards. But I guess there's a lot of that going on right now, you know? Lack of trust and love, lack because of whatever you've been through, or you're just not me. It's true. That's what we've been getting, right? Not moving forward, not speaking when you're supposed to. And those are the reasons why. So you're the one that's got to do that clearing. It's time for you to clear out because you clearly are surrounded by toxic energy. If that's the belief system that you have, you've got to do your work. You haven't done your work. You need to bow down. The Spirit's not going to raise the sink for you to make it easier for you to wash that shit off. It's up to you to do the work. Blue Angel. I, Archangel Michael, am here by your side. I am all around you and I will forever protect you. Remember this whenever you feel fearful. I love you. All is well. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Can we have one more? I like that. That's a good message. Thank you. Neutrality on all levels. Best one, please. P. 
peace. <laughs> no matter where you are or what you're doing, inner peace is always possible. All it takes is a subtle shift in awareness. Think love and peace will follow. Ooh, I'm going to do another. I like these. These are making me feel good. I'm looking at my um, Amazonite, my amethyst, and my, my creative eggs, and my powerful little pony, and the lapis, and my rose quartz, and oh, I love being surrounded by all my crystals. Thank you. And these affirmations. Nothing is so powerful than positive affirmations. Heart song. What is your heart saying? Stop and listen. Your truth lies within the empty spaces between your thoughts. Your truth shines through from within your soul. Your truth is that which is eternal and unchanging. Your truth is love. And there's the ones that are so afraid to trust in, in love, but love is your truth. Wow. Song playing in the background. Girl, you got me. Got my keys in my hand, trying to get out the door. I'm the one. If you want me, you're the one I want to want me. Hmm. Didn't go along with that card, though. Seems like there's a fear. So precious gift. Friendship, family, and love are precious gifts. Do not lose sight of what is most important. I absolutely have not lost sight. My friends and soul family were the most, they were my blessing. They saved my ass with all the shit that I went through out there. They are the most important thing. It doesn't matter if I'm in a beautiful place like this, if I don't have that. I want to be where I'm surrounded by the people that I love. That was amazing. There is nothing more important than family and love. And sometimes that family is soul family, right? Sometimes it's not your physical, not one of those people are related to me. My Uncle Phil, my Mama Sherry, my Auntie Beth, my best friend Diane. None of them, were, they're all my soul family. Papa Terry. And they're the best. Imagine, clearly visualize the life you want. Feel it in your heart and soul, and so it will come to be. So today, as I rip apart my old dream board, I'm going to start thinking about what it is that I want to put on. I, I took stuff all off my refrigerator, too. And I'm going to start visualizing. I've cleaned my house from top to bottom. I've let go of the negative energy, of the toxic stuff. And now it's about building, visualizing what it is that we want to see come into existence and make it happen. All right, you guys. Have a beautiful day. We'll speak again soon. I love you.